Hey everyone, welcome to your complete guide to CSS mastery. Let's dive right in. So what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It's the magic that makes the web beautiful. It's what allows you to style your web pages, turning plain HTML into something visually appealing. Now let's break down the major concepts you need to master CCSS. Picture a flowchart in your mind as I go through these. First up, basics. You need to understand selectors, properties, and values. These are the building blocks. Learn how to apply styles to elements using classes, IDs, and element selectors. Next, box model. This is fundamental. It includes margins, borders, padding, and content. Mastering the box model helps you control layout and spacing. Then Flexbox. Flexbox is your best friend for creating responsive layouts. It allows you to distribute space and align items in a container. Learn about flex containers, flex items, and the various properties that control their behavior. Following that, grid layout. CSS grid is powerful for creating complex web layouts. Understand grid containers, grid items, and how to place items using grid lines. It's a game changer for web design. Now, responsive design. With the myriad of devices out there, your website needs to look good on all of them. Media queries are essential. Learn to create breakpoints and adapt your layout for different screen sizes. Animation and transitions. Adding animations and transitions can make your site interactive and engaging. Learn how to use keyframes, transforms and transition properties to create smooth animations. Pseudo classes and pseudo elements. These allow you to style elements based on their state or position within the document. For example, you can style a link differently when it's hovered over. Variables and custom properties. CSS variables let you store values you want to reuse throughout your style sheet. This makes your CSS more maintainable and easier to manage. Preprocessors. While not strictly necessary, learning CSS preprocessors like SAS or LESS can make your life easier. They add features like nested rules and functions, making your CSS more dynamic. Finally, projects. Apply what you've learned through projects. Build a personal portfolio site, a responsive blog layout, or even a small web app. Practice is key to mastery. So there you have it. A continuous flow of concepts that will lead you to CSS mastery. Start from the basics and work your way up. Keep experimenting, keep building, and you'll get there. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, happy coding.